Philadelphia police sources tell CBS3 the boy in the box has now been identified. His remains were found in 1957 stuffed in a box in the woods in northeast Philadelphia. Sources say even after all this time, someone could still be charged. Well, this major development is all thanks to DNA technology. CBS3 health reporter Stephanie Stahl is here to tell us about the modern connection between science and crime fighting. A really interesting one. You know, DNA is like a cellular fingerprint. It identifies every cell in your body and your family history. In medicine, it's used to diagnose and treat a variety of conditions. For law enforcement, DNA is a high-tech tool that solves crimes. <laughs> DNA technology is a game changer for crime investigations, now used to identify people and crack cases. DNA is a, it's a huge factor nowadays. Sergeant Dennis Convery is in the major crimes unit at the Camden County Prosecutor's Office. From crime scenes, he collects DNA that's everywhere, in and on your body, and can also be found on things like clothing or doorknobs. Any surface you touch can have DNA on it? Just about, yes. DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. It's a little molecule with a huge influence. DNA is uh, the genetic code. It is encrypted in every cell of your body, and uh, it is inherited from your mother and your father. Wendy Roth at the University of Pennsylvania says DNA determines everything from eye and hair color to what kind of diseases you're predisposed to. Scientists can learn a lot of information about people's backgrounds as well as some of their health proclivities or other characteristics. DNA information on millions of people is stored and processed mainly by federal and state labs. Here's what a typical readout looks like for police. The phenotype is basically what tells me about the person's ancestry. DNA is also used by commercial organizations like Ancestry and 23andMe to provide family history and health information to people who pay for the service. I found my birth mom. It is very popular. In fact, more than 30 million people have taken uh, at-home genetic ancestry tests. Sergeant Convery says unless people check a privacy box, the genetic information from some commercial companies can be accessed by law enforcement. But 23andMe says we do not share consumer data with third parties or governments or law enforcement. And law enforcement agencies say they are using DNA more and more to solve cold cases. It has become a very reliable and important tool for investigators. How about High that? tech. Yes, indeed. You it's, see it on TV a yeah, lot, but yeah. when it hits home like this, this is in real life. In real life. On the streets. Amazing. Stephanie, thank you. Uh -huh. Appreciate it.